Welcome to today's video, my name is DB and today we're going to be talking about the Hellfire Amulet and everything that you need to know on how to get it. So let's run the intros and jump straight in. First things first, you need to get the plan, so jump into Act 2, go to the Hidden Camp and speak to Squirt the Peddler. And what they'll have is three plans, which is the Hellfire uh, Amulet, the Hellfire Ring, and the other Hellfire Ring. The 2 million Hellfire Ring uh, is just the ring. Uh, the 5 million is Dexterity, Intelligence, and Strength. Once you've got all those plans sorted, you need to now go and find all the Key Wardens. So, Act 1, Fields of Misery, is where you'll find your first Key Warden. Uh, what you need to do when you log in, you'll see a purple arrow. Jump straight to it. Just hulk up. And we'll go straight down and kill the Key Wardens. So Key Wardens are like mini Rift Guardians, uh, but really simple on T13. And then they drop three items. So this is the Infernal Machine of Regret. Uh, and that's Key Warden 1. Key Warden 2 is on Act 2 and is in the Dalgar Oasis. So jump straight in. Again, look for the purple arrow and off you go. So this one now is the Infernal Machine of Putridness. Go to Act 3 and you will find the Key Warden at Stonefort. Now this will be the Key Warden of Terror. So we should get the Infernal Machine of Terror. Infernal Machine of Terror, that's what it's called. So on T1 or T3, you'll only get one drop. Uh, the higher you go up, you get two. For the final act, you need to go to Act 4 to find the final Key Warden. is in the Gardens of Hope, Tier 2. Run along, find him. Uh, he will drop uh, to uh, Infernal Machine of Fright. Once you've done that, head to New Tristram. Take a little wand around to where the healer is. You will find the door closed, hit it, it breaks open, jump in. And this is where you now use your infernal machines to open up doorways. So let's start off with Fright. Uh, that's the first one at the top. Now this opens a portal, you jump in and you enter in the realm of Fright. Now you have a, a boss. Uh, this in the realm of Fright is Diablo. So once you've killed Diablo... Uh, he'll drop a couple of other minions, or sorry, it's the soul of evil, but it's actually Diablo. So once you've completed uh, killing the soul of evil and any minions that he brings down, you will then get uh, three items. Let's just see what they are. Now you've got the Heart of Fright, so you have three items there, and sometimes you get legendaries, not very often, uh, but you have the Heart of Fright now. So what you've got to do now is run back into the same room. Unfortunately, Blizzard didn't really think of teleporting you in there. And open up another Infernal Key. So as you can see, I've now got the Heart of Fright. Uh, I've got, I had three in that, that realm. I already had three myself. So, let's do the Realm of Regret. Jump in. Uh, this one is the Skeleton King and Magda. Really easy to kill, this one. So now, once they've died, they drop the Oryx Regret. Once you've done that, head back to Trisham, run around again, go past the healer into the doorway, and then run the Putridness. So Realm of Putridness is where you're going to fight Gom and another minion, or another, another boss. Once you finish killing these, they will drop... So now this has dropped the Vial of Putridness. Once you've collected those, you have one last one to do. So again, head back to Tristram, run around and go past the healer and into the doorway again. So this time we are going to run the Realm of Terror. These bosses are the Seas Berserker and the Zoltan Cool. They've got different names like the Savage Behemoth or whatever, but kill them 
fairly easily when you get to this sort of torrent level. And you have now the Idol of Terror. So now you've got all the items you need to go ahead and craft in the jeweler your Hellfire Ring or Hellfire Amulet, whichever one you see fit. So this one we're going to do the Hellfire Amulet of Strength. Now the reason you get so many, so you need one of each of the items that we just got and ten Forgotten Souls. So now it's a game of chance of what you're actually going to roll because you want a good passive, you want an Ancient for better uh, rolls. So this is why you get so many. So you're going to keep rolling, you're going to keep rolling until you get the right passive for your build or your character that you're running and you want it to be Ancient. Now this is why you have to keep running this until you get a decent set of stats. Um, yeah, you're going to be running this quite a lot. But it is a good amulet when you get everything that you need. And some of the builds, especially with the Lon build coming up uh, in Season 17, the Hellfire Amulet probably could play a key role here. So, that is Hellfire Amulet and everything that you need to know. My name is DB. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any comments or feedback, drop it in the comment section below. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Keep up to date with all my content. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon.